Hello and welcome to LW Kitchen. Today I am going to make my favourite thing, which is Welsh rabbit. Okay, now this isn't just cheese on toast. This is something completely divine and it's going to be served with a walnut and apple salad. Perfect for this time of year and you can have it for supper. It doesn't have to just be a snack. First thing you want to do is toast some bread. Now, I'm talking about proper bread. It doesn't have to be sourdough. It can be any sort of bread, but what I call real bread, not that floppy, horrible stuff. Cut it quite thickly, toast it each side, and then what you want to do is I always butter my toast. Now, when I trained to be a chef, when we used to do Welsh rabbit, or Welsh rabbit, which comes from Wales, we used to make a bechamel and add the cheese and the beer to the bechamel with eggs. I'm just going to do a very, very simple version and it works really, really well. So, once you've buttered your toast, you then take a couple of egg yolks. This will serve two people, it'll be quite a, a big portion. Into that, you want to put a couple of teaspoons of Dijon. Now, some people use um, English mustard, and that's fine. I prefer Dijon. In it goes, and a little splash of Liam Perrings, and also some beer. Two or three tablespoons of beer going in. Give that a good old stir. And we're now gonna add about 200 grams of cheddar. Mature cheddar, good old Somerset, proper cheddar. Notice that I've grated it on the fine bit of the grater. It just seems to melt better. And if you've got to just keep a little bit back for the top. Mix together. And it should be just a little bit spreadable. So, hey, I'm just going to add a bit more beer. And I'm also going to add lots of black pepper. Now, preheat your grill to about medium. Don't have the tray going too high. What you don't want to do is boil the cheese, because if you boil the cheese, you lose the flavour. And then take your lovely mixture, oh, look at that, and put that on top of your toast. Don't push it all the way out to the side, because it will find its way and probably dribble down the side itself. Oh, look at that. I could eat it just like that, actually. And then it's going under the grill. You need to keep an eye on it, and while it's grilling, you can then make your delicious walnut salad. So here it is. Oh, look, I told you it would start dribbling down the sides. How marvelous. Right, now the salad is easy. Toasted walnuts, which you can just toast in the oven, some chopped apple and some leaves. And then I'm not gonna do a complicated dressing with this, because simple is good and good is simple. Just a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And maybe just a splash of balsamic because we've got a lot of richness going on here. I probably, if I was at home, I would just toss this with my hands, to be quite honest with you, but I'm being posh. I'm not being naughty. Okay, so just toss that together like that. A little bit of uh, black pepper. Don't put salt on it, because you're going to get the saltiness from the balsamic. And you're ready to serve. Which one shall we go for? Let's bring that over there. Oh, I'm just going to use my hands. Just pick up that salad. Pile it on there like that. Apple, walnut, is a marriage made in heaven that goes with your lovely Welsh rabbit. Finish off, bit more black pepper, and enjoy.